Brothers and sisters in the Australian Defence Forces, I know that many of you joined the Defence Forces for good reasons, because I joined the United States Marine Corps thinking that I was going to help my country as well. But if you look at the history of US and Australian foreign policy, and you look back all the way to 1899 and the Boer Wars, and then you go to World War I, World War II, Korea, Vietnam, Iraq, Afghanistan. These are wars and conflicts we don't belong in, killing innocent people around the globe. And I know that's not what you joined the service for. I know you joined the service to help your country, to sacrifice yourself, to be a part of something bigger than an individual who's just considered a consumer, a shopper, someone who watches TV, goes home, enjoys sports games, and plays video games. You wanted to do something better and something bigger with your life. And I understand that. But I'm telling you right now that fighting and dying for wars of aggression to benefit military industrial complex corporations, arms manufacturers, oil companies, and multinational corporations and international banks, that is not why you join the Defense Forces. So for those of you who can hear this, I suggest and request that you please lay your arms down. Make the conscientious decision to stop killing people 7,000 miles from your home who pose no threat to you. You have the individual choice and decision to find a different path, either once you leave the defense forces to speak out and talk about the military institution, because I know military institutions in Australia are dealing with the same thing that American military installations are dealing with. PTSD, because your brothers and sisters are coming home from multiple deployments in Iraq and Afghanistan with post-traumatic stress disorder. Suicides, where in the United States over 24 veterans kill themselves every single day. Where we have 150,000 homeless veterans living on the streets of America where the unemployment rate for veterans is twice that of the national average. That's the future for returning servicemen and women from conflict zones abroad. That's the sort of future you have to look forward to if you continue to capitulate to what the United States Empire wants. And as long as your government treats you like little pawns in a bigger game, and as long as Australian government jumps like little lapdogs every time Washington, D.C. tells you to jump, you're going to continue to fight and die in occupations of aggression and be implicated in war crimes from Vietnam to Iraq. And I know that's not the future that you look forward to. So even if you're still in or if you're getting out, I suggest joining the peace movement, joining activists and organizers who are trying to create a more peaceful world and speaking the truth about the military institution because it has one purpose and one purpose only and that's to kill and maim people.